Hey guys, this is going to be a quick v v v v video. Um, I've just been up all night trying to get this to work, and uh, I finally, finally got it to work. And uh, overwhelmed with with joy um, at. Uh, what I found, uh, and also the new information that I can pass along uh, to the community about Super Nintendo, uh, y YPBPR, also known as YUV, or Component Video. Um, but basically, what I've been doing all night is looking up guides online and uh, bread using a breadboard to build circuits that that could po possibly uh, reduce the oversaturation um, as well as amplify red uh, th that was a problem I had. Uh, oh man, it's holy shit! It's eight twenty in the morning. My God, I had that problem at around two a.m. this morning, uh, where there was too little red and uh, it was oversaturated with green. But. I'm going to go through what I did here, um, just for the record, um, because the information I found out while doing this um, may be valuable to uh, other people. Um, so what I have, you can't see it very well because it's my breadboard is sitting on t top of it. I have a first revision Super Nintendo. Uh, it is a SHVC CPU 01. Copyright 1990 by Nintendo. Um, I used a lot of Michael Moffat's information with this mod, so I definitely have to give some mad props to him for figuring a lot of this out. Um, I also have to uh, um, thank Aces um, for his conversation with uh, Jason Rauch. Um, otherwise known as Game Tech US for pointing out that different revisions of the video encoder chip used in the Super Nintendo um, need amplification versus ones that don't need amplif amplification. Well, I found out that they all need amplification as far as I'm concerned. Um, let's see if I can, I don't want to touch any of this because I finally got it perfect, so, okay, there's my video encoder chip, it is a BA6594AF, now th the in Coders that end with AF usually mean y y you can tap c c component video directly from the chip, specifically on pin pin one and pin twenty four. Pin one being RY and pin twenty four being BY and you can solder those directly to a component jack and you'll get perfect component video. 
I found that was not the case. Maybe, maybe mine is special. That's always a possibility, as y y you can see by the name on the chip. Um, not only d does it have the the name of the chip, uh, which is uh, BA sixty five. 94 AF but it also is a S E S E N C type B chip. Um there are several revisions of that chip but um they are all output component video um however it was never utilized by Nintendo. So I followed his guide and um and I used uh a amplifying transistor for RY uh along with 220 m microfarad capacitors um and whatnot something I didn't notice uh, that was mentioned in the fine print at the bottom of uh, his guide was that if you don't have a diode or a rectifier to protect uh, the transistor from being overvolted from the input of the um, of the encoder chip, you need to use a one a one kilo ohm resistor. So that was important information. So you need a one k ohm resistor going directly to the base pin on your two n. 3904. Um, well, that didn't work. Well, it did work in the sense that I, I got picture, stuff like that, but it was, uh, there was no red. So I tried switching the circuit around a bit. Um, and then the problem was, is that everything was totally saturated with green. So I tried using some higher voltage uh, 22 ferret, 22, yeah, 220 microfarad capacitors. Um, those actually did seem t to work a bit better, but um, it ultimately wasn't much of a difference because uh, things were still saturated as fuck. Um, here, right now, I'm using alligator clips, um, specifically to tap 5 volts from the 7805, um, as well as provide a way to ground, which I'm just using the side of the board for now. Um, you never want to solder to the metal contacts on a board. The reason why is because when the RF shielding is on these plates, this is how the board disperses heat. And with an electrical current going through that, it's not going to be able to dissipate heat as well. Um... Anyways, I am going to definitely write up a schematic of all the components that I uh, that I used and uh, how I w w wired them. But the main thing, the main deal breaker that really got this to work was I found out. All of the, um, all 
of the uh, jacks or composite v video uh, outputs should not be grounded. Y should not be grounded and RY should not be grounded and that was the biggest difference. As soon as I grounded BY only, I got a perfect signal from my Super Nintendo to my uh, to my component supporting CRT. Unfortunately, this is the only TV in my house that's a, that supports 240p. Um. So I can't use my Super Nintendo on anything other than this TV. Uh, if I want to play with component. Um, but now that I explained all that, I'll go ahead and stick in a game. My all-time favorite game for the Super Nintendo is Super Metroid. So, well, shit, I need to turn on the TV. Super Metroid is in my console. <sighs> Obviously there's no sound, and the reason why is because sound is not hooked up. Now, before, all of this looked very washed out. Um, right up until here, when everything would be totally green. But as you can see, I got that totally fixed. Now, to show you what happens when I remove ground from BY... And you can't see it as well on the camera, but it totally distorts the co Oh, well, th 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 that's a great example. <laughs> totally turns everything green. And when I put the clip back on, no more oversaturation. If I take it off, oversaturation. When I put the clip back on, everything's back to normal. Um, so I think that's a, some important information that I've discovered. Uh, who knows, somebody else may have d d discovered it for all I know. Um, but I spent all night trying to figure this out, and ultimately it came down to BY needed to be grounded, um, and RY and uh, Luma Sync didn't need to be grounded. Um, in fact, grounding those actually caused interference. Um, now, I don't want to leave this on too long because that 7805 will heat up like a motherfucker. Um, so I'll, I'll let the entry play through here one more time. Um, now, usually cameras do justice to the image better than how it looks in real life that is not the case here it looks way better in 
person than through my camera. Um, anyways, uh, I do have some component jacks. Unfortunately, I could not find any on Mauser, uh, so I went ahead and uh, got the incredibly expensive gold-plated ones off of Console 5, um, but I'm okay with that. And then I got two regular n nickel-plated uh, I outputs um, for audio so right after this I'm gonna tap audio directly from um, the AV out port well anyways this video got a lot longer than I uh, expected or was planning to have it be, but, um, I don't have my, uh, component jacks actually hooked up. I, uh, use these as, uh, test jacks, so I can have the board totally exposed and still have jacks to solder to. Um, all the alligator clips here are going to get removed and replaced with permanent wires. Um, and I'm going to draw up a schematic for you guys on the way I pinned all this t t t t together. Um, anyways, that is composite video out of a Super Nintendo. Um, I bread boarded and prototype 50 billion circuits before I got it to work, but I got it to work and I'm damn proud of that. Um, so. Anyways, guys, um, I'd like to give a shout out to Michael M Moffitt for his original information on the BA sixty five ninety four AF chip uh, and discovering component v video. I'd also like to give out uh, a shout out to um, to Aces for his information on the chips and. Uh, Game Tech y y y US, um, just because uh, he's a pretty awesome guy and he's always been uh, really, really nice to me uh, when I've talked to him through e emails and stuff like that. Um, couldn't have done this mod w w w w w without you guys. Um, your contributions to the community are not going unheeded. Uh, anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and uh, I'm going to now sleep until 6 in the afternoon. Have a good one.